North Dakota Game and Fish Department Upland Game Biologist conduct statewide roadside brood counts each year from late July through August. Uh, we got about 100 of them spread out pretty evenly throughout the four districts. Uh, basically what you do, you start at sunrise. They're 20 mile routes. Uh, you drive slow, 15 miles an hour. Uh, you're looking for any upland birds, uh, you know, pheasants, turkeys, uh, partridge, grouse. When biologists drive these 20 mile routes, weather conditions need to be ideal to get accurate counts. Perfect morning for a brood survey. Uh, it's gonna be clear, calm, and there's gonna be lots of dew wetness in the grass. Uh, with, with the grass being really wet, that brings birds out. They'll be out you know, drying on the roadside, drying on fence lines, bales, things like that. And when broods are on the road drying off from wet grass, biologists get to work. Get out, clap our hands, stop your feet to flush it up. And we, we, we're looking for, you know, is it adult, uh, juvenile? And then we'll look at how big, how big are they? The four big metrics we're looking for are the number of pheasants or upland birds per 100 miles, broods per 100 miles, uh, the age ratio, the adults to juvenile, and then the brood size, how many are in each brood. Biologists have been conducting late summer brood surveys for over 50 years and have collected a tremendous amount of long-term trend data. We can look at things, you know, all the way back to like, you know, the soil bank years and going through CRP, tracking, you know, how the landscape has changed, how the pheasants and all upland birds, you know, reacted to these. And, you know, the biggest thing, you know, th this is what the, uh, Hunters are looking for, you know, pheasant hunters, they're looking at how's production, how is it, you know, compared to last year. And how are brood numbers shaping up so far during this year's surveys? You know, there's still a lot of, lot of survey period yet, but I'm optimistic it's going to be a, a really good fall. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.